I'm just enjoying here early morning in Ico with my coffee at the water. And for today, I would like to continue making the modern module all the way up to a modern module number four. I have a few couple of comments and would like to talk about that while we are going on our way to the industry area. So that other guy, 128, was saying building episodes sounds fun. So I would like to see and try if today we can, you know, get the modern module all the way up to a number four. When that's done, the next episode is going to be about upgrading our metal building, which we have these modern machines in there uh, because we need some more space. So building episodes is going to come up. And Xavier Lupe is saying, long story short, uh, building on an oil field layer from the map will shorten the extraction time per barrel too. So it was kind of funny. I was just done recording yesterday's episode and um, I got this comment of him already in here, uh, which was very handy because I was wondering if we have these oil fields, right? That... First of all, can they be depleted? I don't think they can be depleted. But what I was thinking that the amount of, well, let me just say the value of what is standing right down here, will that decide if the timer will go shorter to get more oil within a time? So I would get, um, it will take a longer time to extract the barrel right down here rather than right down here and apparently that is uh, a thing in this game so this down here will just stay here and at some point i want to have an oil field right down here he's also saying it would be good to have four to five jack pumps so it's gonna be a mega operation to you know make a road and then go over the water make a nice platform and make this into a facility now there is a downside actually to this and i kind of need to still think about it if i really want to do this because even though if you would have no steam engine the oil um stuff will still cause ground pollution and since this is in the middle of an ocean i'm not quite sure if i want to pollute the ocean uh, even though it wouldn't have a too big of an effect on me as a single player uh, it would be in multiplayer of course but i've seen multiplayer servers where the ocean is like chocolate brown and people still manage to destroy the meteor at some point and survive so i just have to think about this and because there are a lot of other spots where oil still can be you know drained from the ground if you would like to say it like that and there are a few couple of other spots uh, this is of course also a river uh, i just have to think about it just give some more feedback onto it if the uh, oil pumping only will also cause this ginormous amount of pollution or that this is just basically uh, caused by the steam engine that is standing um, right down there. Let me just get this up. So there's like a steam engine down here, but I see like these strange little spots here and there, which is a little bit odd because if it would be from the oil field, I would rather uh, think that it would only be in this area or if it's from the steam area, it would be in this area. And it's kind of strange how it also leaks out to other parts. And down here you can see just a little bit. And the only thing that is actually standing here is a blast furnace and a steam engine. Uh, but more about that another time. Uh, thank you for the comments. I really appreciate this information. And um, yeah, that we share this game together kind of play it together so yesterday we started off already doing the module stuff and then slowly but surely i noticed that i needed to do a lot more work in order to uh, upgrade the modern module number two to a modern module number three now one of the things is actually that i'm going to need to upgrade the electronic skill to a minimal of five now we did create it like a um, like an electricity pole and we created like a light pole. There are a few couple of items we did create it, but this is not enough just yet in order to gain enough electronical points if you would. Uh, the transmission pole, 
I just want to show you, I did place a few couple of them and I was kind of wondering like what would be the range and I also noticed when I had like um, the max range and I would place for example a transmission pole down here and a transmission pole further away that if you would take the middle one away that the pole right down there still has power. This is apparently not working the correct way and I got told on the Eco Discord server that you have to be careful with this um, with this messing around because if a server resets it can break down your whole electricity circuit uh, network so if you would take a pole between in away and the other one has still power keep in mind if a server would reset or if your single player game will turn off which is online and then turn back on that it couldn't um, <clears throat> that the possibility is that, that it doesn't work correctly anymore. I have also been told that the reach of these poles is actually uh, 15 blocks from the pole, right? That is the reach all the way around the pole. And when you have another pole with a reach of 15, the only way how they connect is they need to overlap at least one block. So block number 15 from that one needs to be overlapped with block number 15 of that one and then it's actually connected up so basically between in here i got like 28 blocks in reading that for street lights it is 10 blocks in range so that would be between in two street lights it needs to be like 18 um anything else just yet i do not have an idea i don't think like a light bulb like that uh, would actually give away um, a range um, it will just be one block and one block needs to be within range of 15 blocks from that power thing I hope that makes a little bit of sense because you know it, it, it is kind of a calculating type of deal and um, yeah let, let's just continue and see where we can gain some points from now I've of course already been checking out a few couple of things here and there in order to you know prepare this episode a little bit and I did see something that actually sound like music in my ears. Um, I would like to get rid of the steam engine. And in order to get rid of steam engine, there are a few couple of possibilities. Now we have, if I'm not wrong, it should be somewhere in here. Is a, uh, I thought it was called a combustion engine. It is not in here, right? Combustion, combustion, combustion not in here there is something in there uh which sound like music in my ears maybe it's down in here it's with a c right yeah combustion generator a combustion generator will produce 3000 watts of power now i think one of the funniest thing will be is calculating all of the electricity uh using machines and workbenches and you know see if one combustion generator would be enough but a combustion generator still uses fuel now there is something else that like i said before two times i need to change this building it sounds like music in my ears and that is actually a solar generator the solar generator generates power from the sun and it says generates electrical power from the sun it also stores energy to work at night now of course the uh, solar generator will produce way lesser power than a combustion generator combustion generator 3000 and a solar generator only 750 but it is clean all right so my whole point is maybe we should make a few couple of these solar generators and you know place them somewhere now at first i was thinking maybe i should dig out a piece of road in here and then go up over those stockpiles over these stockpiles and then here we have like a nice flat area uh, to place all these things but i was like you know it costs a lot of work right and then i was like i got a little piece of land right down here at the side which was all farmland i could place a few couple of these things right down here now, eh, that doesn't seem to be very good. There's a few couple here and there. I don't mind it. Imperfection is perfection. 
Um, so yeah, I, I need to make one solar generator and just see how big are those guys before completely deciding where to place it. Also, meanwhile, you can see that I'm still producing petroleum and or I'm making some more salads. Now, for the salads, though, I am planning on to, you know, use the new food menu when I got at least three stacks of everything. Uh, just in case that I don't want to run out of food and have to wait for the farm to grow. And yeah, I just use this for now. And then we're going to get to the new stuff. Now, also, the lumber is something we need to get into. I'll guess. So let's see. Ah, yes. The computer lab. The place where you can sit all day and play video games or work on expert level research. Wait. Expert level research? You're not going to tell me there is a modern research table with a lot more, right? Maybe this thing can actually decrease the amount of time being used in order to craft books. Maybe. Uh, but this thing, like I said, the carpentry table is something we're going to use because it uses composite lumber tack. And apparently a computer lab table uh, requires 50 concrete, which sounds a little bit strange to me. But first, solar generator. For the solar generator, we are, don't need that much. I mean... Uh, we need four circuits. I want to make four new ones because I'm also going to need to have four for this guy right down here. So that is fine. Uh, I saw that we needed um, six steel and four servos. I'm still wondering what a servo is. Um, it's just it's an engine, I think, like a little, little Lego engine type of thing. <laughs> Uh, where do we craft servos? Let's just take a look at that. We need four of these. I bet it is downstairs. Would also be handy to place those two tables near each other um, in the new type of building. I'm not planning on to demolish this whole building just partly and then build it back up again. So the servo engine is right down here. It also requires circuits and or fiberglass now fiberglass is i believe crafted upstairs again uh, so what i'm also going to do in this case get this thing out of the way because i had enough with walking around right oh boy it's gonna be a whole episode i'm not going to keep talking too much uh because some work needs to be done too so first going to need to have tons and tons of fiberglass now i do have some plastic in this case i'm just going to craft them all i want to say which is this um i'm going to be short on something uh what module will fit in here electronics upgrade i think it's downstairs again no oh wait it requires electronic 7, so we're not going to get that deal sooner or later. Now, basic circuits just requires copper wiring, gold flakes, and substrate. Substrate just uses also fiberglass and a policy. Oh boy. Alright, after doing a little bit of work, I can now have four servos, so let's get all of these going and uh, these four servos is what i needed for one part of the solar thing yeah i needed four of those i'm going to need to have four circuits not to get four i know now to make this one for a circuit uh, that is one of these after that I'd like to have one of these and then after that I should be able mm, four of those one more of these with it and then i need to have some steel bar but i am going to put it on the ordering list just add a few steel bars which you know we have enough i would say when we're going to make this building i'm really going to need to sort these stockpiles out a little bit more because this stuff is all over the place and sometimes I feel like making a massive stockpile isn't always the solution. Uh, but in this case, I think it would be handy if I would find a way 
to make a massive lumber stockpile. Maybe somewhere in the middle of this building, on top of the roof, sticking it out like a tower. And um, make the building high on both sides, while between in it's low. We might need to make something fancy out of this, but I think it will be fine at some point. Wait a minute, what's, what's, what, what's going on? Oh, it says one out of four servos added. I wanted to say, like, how can you make this solar generator while the three servos aren't even finished? But, you know, it just... How does game work? It just does what it needs to do until it cannot do anything and then it will take the next one on the list. I still need to have these uh, four servos, but there is a problem and that is actually that I'm going to need to have... A few couple more basic circuits, and to have a few couple more circuits, I'm going to have a few couple more of these substrates. So let's just grab whatever is left of what I can do, and then things supposed to work out, right? Now, what I would actually like to do, though, is oh man, assembly line is something that I'm also going to need. There's so much now. To be honest, it won't assembly line. Could only be made and placed or rather to say be used if this building where I'm standing in right now would be fine now we can also take a look already a little bit to the power because this robot assembly line takes 1000 watt of power which is uh, quite a lot now also another thing is there are a lot of uh, machine stuff and things you know that requires a certain amount of power you would say let's calculate them all together and then we can know how many solar generators we're going to need but the thing is also if a workbench is not in use you're not using the power too i got like 10 workbenches that require a certain amount of power that is actually not in use and but still um, at some point i think i'm going to need to have maybe slash ish 10 solar powers you could kind of create 10,000 watts of power i mean it's not going to be precise but i'm going to need to make like a nice solar power park out here i just need to fill up this stuff which is not too much of a problem i will partly just fill it up with uh, gravel and i think like i said it is better to build on top of the ground rather than digging things into the ground I think I will end up making like a nice stone floor on top of this ground right down here and put the solar park onto it. I just kind of have to see because if there is one thing I don't want to do, by the way, is cut down these massive trees. Because those ones are sucking a lot of these bad uh, air up and make it into good air, long story short. Yeah, I will have to cut down a few couple of these oaks. Now these oaks are also kind of rare, even though you would say like there are a few couple around here, which is true. It is okay. It is okay. Okay. I I'm just so exciting. Now I do have like a um like a transmission pole right down there. So I'm just going to need to have maybe is two more in order to reach the network. Now you could say let's place a couple along the line right down here. You're through about that. Um, but I'd rather just place two more than having to make six more in order to see if the oil refinery is working. Uh, maybe I'm going to need a couple more. Because I still need to finish that stuff off. There is so much to do in this game. It is absolutely crazy. Uh, so let's see. Just for the sake of it. Transmission pole yeah doesn't require like any like expensive stuff which you would say at the moment i could make three more four three so basically what i'm really going to need is more copper wiring and this lumber tack uh, speaks for itself but you know what my problem is also with the transmission poles is i know that for the future i'm gonna get street lights and street lights kind of work like transmission poles maybe lesser but then again uh you don't want to have street lights placed every 28 blocks or so you place them a little bit closer together anyways to create lights uh, so i don't want to create too much transmission poles in this case 
I'm just going to grab a couple and that will be it all right it is a little bit tricky though if you think about it and but then again i might need you know like power all the way up to some other oil fields and i'm not planning on to use street lights all the way to you know i like to say call it tokyo which i'm just mean you know i'm not going to street light all of this stuff here out in the jungle you know that is in real life you have those places where they just don't add street lights and here, even here in the netherlands there are a couple of like motorway places or highway places or whatever they don't have lights on just basically first of all it will cost too much and second of all all you do is just driving straight and you don't need it at all like it is long way into the nothing and only where there are parts where you need to read some signs or it's very busy with traffic they do use street lights so might be a logic thing to do it is such a mess on my um my list there but i just love like how the game doesn't wait until you you know move this stuff up or forwards or backwards it just works itself out like oh no what is wrong oh i'm missing like copper oh the copper is being made and when the copper is done this one will continue again like it it's such a nice system to have compared with some other games that just sit there and wait until you take the lead to say so here we go we got three transmission poles for now and uh, in this case i would also like to say you know what i think right down here is 28 blocks and uh, just check it out if it works it works i mean if i really calculate 28 blocks it will probably right down here in the middle of this entrance which is not very handy but now i'm thinking of it all right just now i'm thinking of it I still would like to calculate this. Yeah, 28 blocks is right down here at the entrance. So, uh, 28 blocks. So, basically, if I would place this right down here, which is just a shame, it still works. All right. Now, this is 28 blocks. This person said 29 blocks. So, yeah, 29 doesn't work. You really want to have 28. And I think I kind of understand why. Uh, you know what let's just keep it like that then or shouldn't we why are you asking me i don't know you know what i i'm just gonna do what i had before beautiful all right it is actually funny to think of the fact that at the lumber cabin for the factory i don't know what to call it always this area down here i got this massive stockpile here i have never ever ran out of space for this guy which is just so great and i remember i was just you know messing around just like this trying to find some space where to place it and certain workbenches couldn't reach one and another you know it is a very good idea to add it to this building Alright, so the reason why I added some wood in here is because I would like to have... I have two, three, four, five, okay, four. You know, mm, I... Hey, oh, now all of a sudden I can only have this. Oh, I think it depends on... You know, last episode we had like this massive list. I think it's because the certain wood you put in here like you have like this one counts for all of the wood i guess and then you have certain amount of wood so in this case i added in red wood uh, for the red wood let's craft this one of these and just see what kind of certain items we're going to get out of this right at some point we need to modern upgrade this one i don't think we're ever going to make it in this episode but that's okay it would be nice in the episode after the building episode to you know just continue this uh, into the new building see if the new building works a lot better than what we have right now that's so dangerous like i wonder what this thing does rather you know like any other than research i think it's just a modern research table and maybe you can play a game 
Have they installed like a Wolfenstein on it on Tetris or whatever? Okay, our solar panel thing is ready. Our new composite redwood lumber is also ready. So we are going to enjoy some new stuff. And here we be. The sun is coming up and we are going to check out some new stuff. Now, I would first like to do the wood one. You know, because the solar thing is a big milestone in the energy of this world. Yeah, not too bad. That's a nice little uh, package there. So let's see what we can all, you know, get from it. That is a lot of stuff. Holy moly. I see also some new things, which is... Okay, let's take a look at the cube. Cube is just, you know, cube. And then we have this guy. Oh... It is a shame I don't have two, but I think if I place one near it, the corner part will move up, just like the uh, flat steel frame window. Oh. Man, that is... Uh. I want to restart this map. <laughs> Look at this, it just looks like a freaking table. But, you know, like a tiny little bar table where you drink your beer with people. Oh, that's so nice. I I I swear, I, I can't wait for the building um thing. Okay, there is a little thing that is a shame with this. I think I'm going to need to make another one because, like, it's a wall and wall trim. I think I have an idea uh, what it's going to do, but let me just fix another piece here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait. These new pieces are just so amazing. Ah, yeah, that that is kind of nice um, for the inside of a building, I would say. Outside, maybe a little lesser. Um, it really feels like interior type of a deal there, but that's okay. If you want to have it for the outside, it's fine too. Who am I to judge, right? Yeah, this would fit more for, you know, an outside like a little sh shred, shed, shred, shed. What are these? And, but besides all of that, what is this? Ah, oh, that's so modern, so fancy. <laughs> that is so nice. Okay, that doesn't work, obvious, but I just... Oh, bend the wood. Heat it up and slowly bend the wood. That is just some crap and sh... Oh. It is, you know, it is only a shame that there is no, like, a flat piece onto it. So it could really um, be good for reception of a building, like my office building, uh, which is being built. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It is okay, it's okay. I cannot have everything. Okay, some nice framed glass with, uh, with wood, the modern style. Then also this one, you know, speaks for itself, which is also okay. Uh, you know, that. Yeah. Uh, then we have some... Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Not too bad. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I. Oh, that would be so nice for the balcony. Um, like it, kitty. Oh god, that looks painful. Poor tortoise, man. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. D d didn't we have that one already? Yeah, wait. What is the difference? Ah, uh, I see what is the difference. It's just you know the picture is not really. Matching up with what we see because you know it looks like a few couple of planks that should be out of it from the picture, but you know I'm not gonna complain. It is super nice. And now of course these blocks speak for itself, but it's nice to take a look at it. It's kind of odd how it's like well maybe it's painted wood, right? Like gray painted. I would say it's odd to have metal on it because it doesn't have any metal. I guess I'm not sure. I can't remember seeing it. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, 
Kinda. I wanted to say it would be nice if you could make like an archway, but you can do that with these things. You know, you have like a, a modern garden and then you make like an archway out of this kind of deal. Well, that would be nice. So exciting for all this stuff. Can you hear that in my voice? Uh, these pieces uh, also kind of speak for itself. What I like about this is that, you know, it, it it's... This is a roof also. Uh, it's sloped, but you can also use that for the roof, right? It's just like, you want to have a wooden roof or would you like to have like... Yeah, here you can really see like it's painted into metal color onto it. That, that's just okay. And then we have like pillar. Mm -hmm, also very nice. Wow. Oh man, the building series is going to be so freaking awesome. Uh, to take a break from, you know, the series stuff and single player series stuff, multiplayer series stuff. Which is all going to be about destroying the meteor rather than, you know, make like the most awesome city ever. Uh, I have some ideas though for um, the, the, you know, the building season. Which is going to be, you know, I, I, I like I said, I want to increase the time of the media to like 60 days rather than 30. So, because it's all going to be about building you know rather than oh we must destroy that thing but i still want to keep a little you know something exciting uh to also see what will happen if this thing will destroy our beautiful city and um, i also have in mind that we are going to of course start off with a very simple place where we you know going to level up and all that kind of stuff there is nothing going to be fancy about that after we kind of gain through all the levels of you know in order to be able to make this stuff we are going to choose a nice spot onto the map where we're going to actually build our city and industry area for real i hope it doesn't sound too confusing yeah with that being said let's take a look at the solar power i haven't checked it out as yet i had to scroll real quick oh 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 no what? Are you kidding me? Why does this thing need... Okay, well, we, we can add a water pump that is mechanical and the mechanical thing can be mechanical power by a mechanical windmill. Okay, that's not too much of a problem. I'll have to think about it. So, in, in this case, very nice, very cool. I'm really happy that we're getting to clean energy and that I don't have to... Uh, be forced to use any more coal kind of stuff because coal is going to be very much need for steel uh, stuff right i just would like to check out some of the demand of like this guy right down here get your butt out of my face so the uh this guy uses cons uh, demand consuming yeah, demand, it must have 200 at least, and then it used 100 from the 200. Yeah, I do not really understand it, but can this thing, does it, it must use this stuff? Because that is a little cheaty though, developers. Can I not just use normal electricity? Uh, so in this case, if you have anything to comment about today's episode, like tips, tricks, information, stuff you would like to share, I really would like to read it. Uh, for tomorrow, we're going to do some building. I would like to upgrade this building. We're going to partly demolish it and then make it super useful. And with that being said, thanks for watching.